Welcome to Excel and Business Math video number 13. In this video, we have two short topics. We have to see how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction and an improper fraction to a mixed number. And we'll get to see how to do it by hand in Excel, by hand and in Excel. Now, I'm going to go open up PowerPoint and show you live how to do this on a piece of paper. All right, over here in PowerPoint, we want to see how to change an improper fraction to a mixed number. And the steps are, first do the division, then put the remainder over the denominator. Our example, we're going to take the improper fraction 8 over 3, and that is going to be equal to, yes, you got it, we're going to do old-fashioned division. The denominator, old-fashioned division bar, and I'm going to write the numerator 8. And I have to ask the question, how many 3's are in 8? Well, counting on my fingers, 3 and 3 is 6. That means there are two 3's in 8. That 2 is the whole number or integer part. Now I have to say 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And I subtract it to get the remainder. So 8 minus 6, that gives me a remainder of 2. Now, I write it up here, R2, so it's whole number 2, remainder 2. But now, put remainder over denominator. That's the next step. So we say equal sign, write the whole number 2. Now, we take the remainder. That's the top part in the numerator of our fraction. We write it, draw our fraction bar, and now we put the denominator 3. And there you go. We have converted from an improper fraction to a mixed number. Now, there's another way we can do this. I'm going to write 8 thirds equal, and I'm going to draw a long fraction bar. And in the numerator, I'm going to say 3 plus 3 plus 2. Hey, guess what? That equals 8. And then I'm going to put it over the denominator 3. Now, I'm noticing there's two 3's in the numerator, so there's a 3 there. There's the second 3, and there's a part of a 3. So guess what? I can write an equal sign and rewrite this fraction. We'll write it as 3 divided by 3. That's this first 3 plus the second 3 over 3. That's the second 3. Then we say plus, and here's the part. 2 thirds. What's nice about this method is it becomes obvious. 3 divided by 3 is 1, plus 3 divided by 3 is 1, plus 2 thirds. So we can rewrite this as 1 plus 1 plus 2 thirds. And there we go. Now we know 2 and 2 thirds. Now I want you to remember from video number 8, any number divided by itself is 1. This 3 divided by 3, 1. This other 3 divided by 3, 1. And we're left with 2 thirds to add to 1 plus 1. Now we want to move on to our next topic and talk about how to change a mixed number to an improper fraction. Number one, we're going to have to multiply the denominator and integer, then add the numerator to get the new numerator. Then put the new numerator over the denominator. Now we're going to take our same example, 2 divided by 2 thirds. And here's step one, multiply denominator and integer. So I'm going to draw a little arrow and a multiplication symbol and an arrow. That means multiply those two things. We're going to write this off to the side, 3 times 2. Then we have to add the numerator. So I'm going to draw an arrow, a plus symbol, and another arrow. Now remember, we had to do step one multiplying, and now we have to add the result to the numerator 2. So we say plus 2 and draw our fraction bar. Now we simply list the denominator. And there we go, equal sign. We get 6 plus 2 over 3 equals 8 over 3, and there it is, our improper fraction. Now let's look at another example, 13 and 1 divided by 2. Let's convert this to an improper fraction. So we say 2 times 13, 
Then we write it off to the side. Then we do our second operation plus the 1, which is the numerator. So we write it plus 1. Draw our fraction bar. Put the denominator 2. And then equal sign, let's see, 2 times 13, 26 plus 1, 27. So we write 27 over 2. And there it is, an improper fraction from 13 and 1 half mixed number. All right, now we want to go over to Excel and see how to do this in Excel. Now we're over here in Excel on the sheet Convert. Now example one, we want to convert the improper fraction 8 thirds to a mixed number. Now this is just a single number. If you want to enter it hard coding the numbers in, that's fine. I'm going to put the numerator and the denominator into the cells because there are actually two interesting functions, quotient and mod. We actually saw these functions back in video 8 when we talked about division. And the great thing about the quotient function is it can take a numerator and denominator and give you just the integer part, which is what we need for a mixed number. All right, so we're going to use the quotient function. You can read the screen tip, returns the integer part of division. So numerator, there's that improper, larger than the denominator numerator, comma, denominator, there it is. Close parentheses and enter, and there it is. It gives us the whole number or integer 2. The remainder, we use the mod function for that. It has different argument names in its screen tip. But number, that's the numerator, comma. Divisor, that's denominator. And when I hit Enter, that's the remainder part. So as an improper fraction, I'm going to just do it for our number formatting example. I'm going to get the 8 divided by 3. Now, if I divide 8 by 3 and hit Enter, that'll give me the decimal. But when I do the mixed number, I better get exactly the same decimal. Now, there's two twos here, so let's pick the right one. That's the integer part. So I'm going to start my formula equals. That's the integer. And since 2 and 2 thirds is a mixed number, that implies adding. We simply add, get the remainder, and divide it by whatever the denominator is. Now, notice the order of operations will work perfectly. Division comes before addition. And of course, Excel knows the order of operations. So when I hit Enter, I have both as decimals. But now let's properly format. I'm going to select that cell, Control-1. Now in Category, I want to come down to Custom. Now I'm going to highlight this, and I want improper, single digit, that's the question mark, slash, single digit, that's the question mark. So there it is, 8 thirds, click OK. Now I'm going to click here, Control-1. And if we go to Fraction, I've got to show you a great trick. And I did show you this earlier. Any one that you select, if you want to see how they constructed the custom number formatting for that particular version, you can select it. And I'm actually going to select the first one, come down to Custom, and notice it will give us for that single digit always pound. That will give us the integer. And then question slash question, that will give single digits in numerator and denominator. And that is what I would have typed out. So that particular built-in one works perfectly. Click OK. Now I'm going to check to make sure they're equal. Equal sign, up arrow. And equal sign is a comparative operator to create our logical formula. Up arrow, up arrow. When I hit Enter, it tells me, yes, indeed. They are both equal. Remember, those formulas don't look at the number formatting. They look underneath at the underlying numbers. All right, example two. Oh, look at that, an improper fraction, 35 divided by 17. There's the numerator and denominator. I'll use the quotient function. Get the numerator, comma, the denominator. And this will give me the integer or whole number part. When I hit Enter. 2. The remainder, I use mod, tab. Number means the numerator, comma. Divisor means the denominator. 
And look at that. There's a single remainder. I'm eventually going to put the remainder over the denominator so it looks like 2 and 1 17th. The improper fraction, there it is. Enter. Mixed number. I'm going to say, hey, please give me that whole number 2 plus. There is the remainder divided by the denominator. Better give me exactly the same thing. Now, for the improper fraction, I want double, double. So Control-1, come down to Custom. And I'm going to select Question, Question, Slash, Question, Question. And there it is, 35, 17. Click OK. Now I'm going to do it as a mixed number. Control-1, come down to Custom. Come up here. I want a pound to show the integer. Space, question mark, slash, question, question. And there I have my 2 and 1 17th. Click OK. Now I can see if they're equal. And they better be equal. Enter. And there it is, true. Now let's go down and look at our next two examples. We want to convert a mixed number, 2 and 2 thirds, to an improper fraction. I listed them here. You can hard code them. And in fact, the homework answers, I did them three ways. I did them as formula inputs, hard coding the numbers, and writing them on paper. All right, so a mixed number equals, there's the whole integer part, plus there's the numerator divided by the denominator. And of course, Excel will calculate that correctly. Let's go ahead and format this. Control-1, custom. And up here, I'm going to say pound space, question, slash, question, and enter. As we did it on paper or in PowerPoint, 3 times 2 plus 2, so I'm going to do that right here, equals, there's the denominator, times, there's the whole part. That means we have two threes plus the part that's not a whole 3, our numerator, 2. So that will be the new numerator, 8. Now we can simply, to get our improper fraction, 8 divided by our denominator, Control-Enter, Control-1, Custom, Type, question mark, slash, question mark. There's my 8 thirds. Click OK. I can check to see if they're equal. Is 8 thirds equal to 2 and 2 thirds? You betcha. If it came up false, I knew I did something wrong. Now here's our next example, 13 and 1 half. As a mixed number equals, there's the whole integer part, plus 1 divided by 2, Control Enter. Control 1, Custom. And in type, I'll go pound, space, question mark, slash, question mark. Again, you can look through the built-in ones and use those if you'd like. I like to type them in. Click OK. There's my 13 and a half. The new numerator, denominator times the integer plus the numerator, equal sign. There's the denominator times. So we want to have 13 twos plus 1 extra. That will be the new numerator, so 27. Improper fraction, we're going to take 27 divided by the denominator. Control-Enter, Control-1. We need 2 in the top and 1 in the bottom. So I'm going to put question, question, slash, question. And there it is. Click OK. Are they equal? Equal sign, up arrow. Equal sign as a comparative operator, up, up. And when I hit Enter, we have our true. All right, so that was a little bit about converting mixed numbers to improper fractions and improper fractions to mixed number, both in Excel. And we did it by hand over in PowerPoint. There are four homework problems and some answers for you. And of course, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including video number 14, where we'll do another simple topic. We'll convert decimal to fraction and fraction to decimal. All right, we'll see you next video.